Hey everybody, I'm heading up to camp. I was supposed to go up last night, but the weather today is horrible. It's pouring rain, high winds, so I decided uh, just to skip today, unfortunately. Tomorrow's looking really good, I think. Um, the ground's all wet from raining all day, and the rain's gonna stop tonight, and then there's supposed to be snow in the morning. So, and then snow throughout the day. Temperature is going to be around 32, so that could freeze things a little bit. But what I'm hoping is the ground stays nice and wet from the rain all day today. It's not frozen. Get a nice little layer of snow over the top, and if that's just soft enough where it's not frozen and the leaves aren't crunchy, might be a real good day in the woods for tracking tomorrow. So that's what I'm hoping for. She is. That there is an RV. She's a beaut. She is still intact. So, tell them more of what you do at camp. Here I am eating the Guinness Book World Records chicken taco. Good morning. Pretty excited about today. Conditions are pretty near perfect for tracking. The ground is pretty wet from all the rain yesterday. We've got a dusting of snow. It's still snowing and it's supposed to snow on and off all day. So I got a quiet ground with a layer of snow on top. So it's pretty much perfect for me right now. I've got all day to hunt. I'm gonna try out a new spot near where I shot the eight pointer last year. I'm gonna walk out that way because it's closer to walk out to that spot than to paddle out to the area that I'm going to. But I do have my canoe. So if I do get one back there, I can shoot out and get it quick. So looking for a good day today. Wore my yellow shirt today. It's my killing shirt. I dressed real light today because I knew I'd be walking a lot and this wind is freaking cold. Kind of wishing I put on some more clothes at the moment. But um, it's a little dark in the woods still and um, I'm going to wait for it to brighten up a little bit before I go walking out there. I don't want to spook anything in the dark and not have a chance to even see it. So I'm going to sit by the pond a little bit. So I'm on this ridge top. Got a small dusting of snow. I've seen some tracks that were throughout the night, but nothing big. Look like a couple small deer, maybe a doe and a fawn kind of thing. But I'm going to uh, crisscross this ridge top, just real slow, and see if I can cut a track. On the other side, the woods are real steep. This hill's real steep down the back side, and the wind is blowing right at my back which sucks. So I'm gonna, I got to my spot out here, I'm gonna switch direction, try to keep the wind more in my favor and hopefully cut a track. Good track. And there's a track right there. Snow's kicked up. So that's definite fresh. Follow a little bit, see what happens. Came up to a doe quite a ways out. I'm not really sure if you can see it too well. I was hopeful that she would have a buck with her, but I didn't see one around.
just had a doe walk right by me. She was feeding, taking her time. I let her get ahead of me. I think I'm gonna backtrack her for a little while. I'm gonna backtrack her. Maybe I'll get lucky. I just came across some tracks and they were they were real fresh. And I was like, whoa, those tracks are like right now. And I, I'm following the tracks, looking up ahead of me, going up the trail. And at the other end of the tracks was a doe standing there looking at me 30 yards away. So I says, oh, guess I know where that deer went. So she stared at me for a couple minutes and then walked off. Good thing is she didn't run off. She just kind of walked off. So this is the second doe I've just stumbled upon today. So that's a good sign. I'm just going to keep on still hunting and moving slowly. So far it's worked good for me, but only does. Videos like this are proof that you can still get close to deer while wearing your blaze orange. I picked up a buck track right here. I was worried that he was close, so I didn't worry about filming at all. If you look close, you can see some rubs on the trees here and there, but I really didn't highlight them at all or say anything. I was having a hard time following this one. Everything looked like a deer track in there.
I just lost a buck track. It was going into the swamp and it was real quiet walking because it was all marshy and mossy. The track was real fresh and I thought I had a good chance of catching up to it. He made a, a rub and I found a rub lines where he rubbed all the trees and I was kind of excited about it. And then um, <clears throat> I just lost the track. I was going through a heavy swamp and I just lost it. I stayed on the, the game trail that was going through it, just assuming it went that way. But um, I never picked it back up. I never saw it. Um, the fresher snow got it all covered up and I just, I couldn't find it. <clears throat> Normally I would circle back and get back on it, but um, it's kind of afraid to in the swamp. I think he was bedded, if he was still there, he was bedded down nearby. And I thought if I did that, I'd just kick him up. So I came out of the swamp, <clears throat> walked around half of it in the direction he was going, hoping I'd pick up that track. But um, there's nothing, it snowed real heavy within the last hour. And I think whatever's there is just buried. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned for part two to see if I shoot the only buck I see all week.